Hey everybody, time for another Using Emacs video. Um, nothing really too heavy today. Um, what I found is um, well, normally when I'm working with um, with any sort of simple markup, markdown, whatever, I usually use org mode stuff. Um, and the nice thing is that org mode does render on GitHub, so I, I use that a lot. So whenever I do, well, let's see, let me just open up. You know, like even if I'm going to, let's say, come on, come on, come on. Well, actually, I can, I can go with this more quickly through a bookmark. Um, you know, like if I'm using, um, if I'm setting something up for my classes, I will just set up, you know, this is just an org file, readme.org, and, um, and Google and GitHub rather renders it, you know, very nicely. So here we just have, um, you know, a title and then a table and, you know, it's all, it's all really nice and easy this way. And, uh, and I like this and I also even force it upon my students, you know, so like when they're doing assignments, I give them the, uh, read the org file and they have to fill in the blanks and stuff. But sometimes, and, and of course the nice thing there is Emacs and org file, you know, just, you know, um, made together. Um, but sometimes I do have to work on actual markdown files. Um, and uh, that's usually only when I have to do something with other people. Um, so I figured I'd take a look and see what Emacs does or Emacs has uh, for markdown. So I looked at a few things and I thought we could take a look at a couple of them together. So, um, you know, so not all of these, um, you know, I, I don't care about exporting it so much, um, but something that will let me look at markdown. So I tried this fly markdown and this gave me a weird occurrence. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna load Emacs um, and let's see, these are um, unable to activate. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just going to load Emacs manually each time so I can clear out the packages as necessary. So I'm just gonna use try here. So I can do try and then fly um, markdown. And I'm trying it and I'm going to visit, um, where is that, where is that? Um, it's CodeFest and the readme file. And I'm just gonna do fly, mark down, fly it, which is what the uh, instructions said. And what I found is this, this is not an Emacs thing and it's not a markdown thing. It's bringing up my GitHub Classroom Assistant, which is the program that is set when, I, when I'm using GitHub Classroom. You know, it, it's, um, and I don't know why it's doing that. It's, um, it's the same thing that when you go to Zoom meetings and Zoom opens. Um, so I, I don't know, that was, uh, forget that, I'm not gonna fight with it. Um, so that was kind of a bust. Uh, but if someone knows why it's doing that, I had a couple things that, that did that. Um, I did take a look at GHMD, we'll come back to that. That was kind of cool. And I like grip, so I'll save that for the end. Um, but I also wanted to look down at, um, you know, I looked at markdown mode and markdown preview mode and preview mode you um, for the built-in web browser. Um, and so let's take a look at a couple of these. Let's look at um, markdown, I think it was markdown mode. So let's try it. Let's try markdown mode. And actually, Markdown mode may not have had too much. Well, it had live preview mode. Um, it didn't have too much. It was mostly to help you write Markdown, and I wasn't interested in that. But you'll notice down here it says Markdown failed. That's because I didn't install um, Markdown. So I'll do a sudo app get install Markdown. And that's going to do a quick install of Markdown. And there we go. And then I'll do markdown live um, live preview mode. Now it's disabled. Markdown live preview mode. Ah, didn't want to do that. And there we have down there, we have our markdown. You know, so like, let's do uh, item one, item two. Let's say this is um, paper clip, you know. And I'll save it, and I'm not seeing this refresh. Let's try this again. Let's try Markdown Live Preview Mode. Turn it off. Mar down, mark down. Try it again, and um, oh, there we go. And um, I, I thought this would do like an emoji type thing, but I guess not. Let's see. Uh, 
let's try this one. Uh, anyway, so I wasn't so thrilled with this. So let's exit Emacs just because I'm just using try package, and whenever I exit Emacs, it's going to um, clear all of that out. Uh, it's going to clear off any of the packages I've tried. Um, so let's go to another one. Uh, let's try that markdown preview mode. Let's do try markdown preview mode. And uh, to be honest, when I installed both of these, I seem to get the same type of results. So um, now I'm trying that. So let's go back to um, And you'll see that there's the HTML file in the directory that it rendered before. So let's try um, Markdown. And we don't seem to have anything there. Let's try, try it again. Um, markdown uh, Preview Mode EWW. It says it's working, um, but nothing there. Uh, so let's try, let's try the other one. That seems to be more of an install, so let's try now. Let's see what that gives us. So here, um, let's see, we got, let's go back to live preview mode. And there we have it again. And, and um, you know, not automatically updating. Let's see if there's another thing we can get there. Yeah, so this does, you know, the, this seemed to be a little bit, um, you know, I seem to recall when I tested it earlier, what it actually did is, um, let's just see if I'm missing a mode here. Uh, well, let's see, we can do open browser, unable to connect, so that doesn't seem good. Uh, let's see if there's any other ones in here. Um, Go straight markdown preview. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Let's see if we um, change this back to item one. And yeah, it didn't re-export. So, you know, this gives me a preview, but it's not what I'm looking for here. I want something that's a little bit more, um, you know, I, I want it to be a little bit more pain-free in terms of giving me the update. So let's clear this out again. Let's close that guy there. And let's go to the two packages that I actually kind of liked. Um, and so the first one for these is, um, sorry, open the window too big. Um, yeah. And that was, well, that was, that, yeah, gh.md, I hope I installed the right thing, yes. So now we'll go back to, um, go back to our readme file and I'll do G -E, uh, GHMD um, and let's render the buffer. And there we have it. Now I think this will not keep updating it, but I can do GHMD um, render the buffer again and that'll get it again. Notice that I am getting the, uh, the thumbs up over there, which is more what I want. Or if I can do the, um, uh, I don't know, uh, paper clip. Um, so, so this seems a little bit better that it's doing what I want it to do, um, but I do have to re-update it each time. So what I finally found, the final one, and um, we'll just load Emacs one more time, the one that I liked was grip, grip mode. And so I'm going to, I actually like this one, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually go to the configuration, and uh, let's say, let's put this over here and we'll say markdown Emacs list use package grip mode um, ensure T. And let's install it and hopefully that installed it. Now let's go to the actual, now in order for this to work, you'll see that this won't work at first. And it says I don't have grip installed, and that makes sense because I don't have grip installed. I had it installed, I have to reinstall it. 
So I'm going to do sudo apt get install. And grip is going to take care of um, rendering this stuff for me. So let's do this again. Grip, uh, grip mode, right? I enabled it, I disabled it, now we're back again. And so now, um, what I like here is if you notice on the web window, it's actually a live update. So this, this I kind of like. Um, so what I'm getting here is, um, and I don't, I, I don't really do much markdown stuff, you know, like one item, two item, you know, whatever. Um, but I like the fact that this just installed, it's a simple mode, I didn't need that separate package, but I was able to install it. Um, with email, um, with the uh, uh, with my package manager, um, and um, and it just kind of worked, and it's just you know it, it's clean and it's simple. You know um, there may be a heading. Well, let's actually see. Let's see if there's something else. Uh, grip browse preview. I guess that's pretty much the same. Um, so there's not much else to it. You know I, I might look a little bit more into the other ones again to see about rendering it inside Emacs so it's within the window, but, uh, but this actually works for me. Um, so that's a couple of different options if you want to get previews of Markdown mode. Um, yeah, and that's it for today. So uh, just a little quick thing that I uh, found that I um, needed to work with yesterday, found an Emacs package, and within a few minutes I was good to go, and so I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.